What's going on, everybody? I'm Jeff Bunker with the Fun Robotics Network. I'm here at the FMA Robbinsville District event, and I have Team 2590 Nemesis and their robot Leonidas here. Uh, we're gonna go through some of the subsystems with their team members and uh, see what makes this robot so special here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. First teams benefit when they optimize their robots utilizing Altair tools. If you're utilizing Altair, submit a video showing your optimization skills and potentially win up to $5,000 for your team or $2,000 for yourself each quarter from now until June 30th, 2025. Download Altair tools for free and view contest details when you scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. All right, so I'm here with Artie, Ben, and Jeevan. Um, Artie, why don't you start us off? Well, I'm gonna start us off with our mailbox and effector and our elevator. So this year we chose to do a, not through the robot, but kind of side to side okay. with our mailbox. It intakes from the source and our elevator is belted together and it's continuous belt loop uh, elevator that has a carriage in the center, which the arm sits on. The arm is actually on a dead axle. This tube right here is fully fixed and does not move. Instead, we have the gearbox running pulleys that then sits on a bushing that then rotates around this dead axle. If you want to show us some elevator moves, let's go through all the levels of scoring, Nate. This is our source intake right here. This would be L1 or L2. This would be L3. And this would be L4. Nice. Now, I'm going to hand it off to Ben here to talk about our other two subsystems, which are particularly my favorite. All right, so first off is gonna be our ground intake. This ground intake is capable of picking up algae and scoring in the processor. But next up is gonna be our climb. So this is one of our signature moves and it is powered by one motor and is able to lift our robot consistently off the ground. So it starts off with a winch down here. You can see a spool down in this gearbox over here where the rope is kind of wrapped around and that's able to winch up this rope, which is connected up here to this latch. So the climb would start like this and the first couple clicks of the winch undoes this latch. So if you want to do thing one. And this is all operated off of one motor. Yes, this is one motor. Everything else is operated by torsion springs. So thing one is opening up space for our climb because how we do it is our entire elevator pivots down 57 degrees okay. to lift our robot up. So we make space and then thing two, Let's this down. So these latches lifted and this torsion spring right here pushes that, this down and these torsion springs keep these latches in. So now this is locked into place. So at this point, we're then going to take the cage and we're gonna drive in and get locked in. Okay. So now once we, once we drive in, this is also another torsion spring, the cage cannot move. And then thing three is the elevator gets pulled down in a real match. This would go way, way farther down. Yeah, like that. But the thing to note is the stinger. So as you can see, it's powered by a bajillion torsion springs and this latch here, which keeps it in the locked down position. And the point of this is to contact the bottom plate of the cage. So when we pivot down, the bar doesn't slide up and down this way. So yeah, once the elevator winches down, we're up in the air. Now Very cool. Jeevan, what's next? So uh, for our software, we use uh, command-based framework in Java. And one of the things that we introduced last year that's really important to our, our game this year uh, is the use of Advantage Scope uh, to help uh, debug and troubleshoot and kind of track uh, what our robot is doing. Uh, but a unique thing about our driver uh, contr operated controls this year is we uh, debuted a tablet this year. So basically this tablet uses um, these buttons to kind of dictate uh, which zone are we scoring and then the level and which uh, specific reef we're scoring on. Um, as well as which source we're going to score on. And then the driver has buttons to uh, auto align to the reef and the source um, so that we can take as much off of his hands as possible. And uh, the inputs from here are transmitted over network tables um, on the screen over here. Uh, it's transmitted over network tables uh, so that it can get back to the robot and then the appropriate command can be scheduled. Very cool. How do you feel uh, this interface works when you guys are in a high pace situation? Some of these matches go really fast. Definitely, yeah. So uh, I personally um, 
I really like this interface. Uh, it's very visual, so that helps me when I'm trying to um, kind of decide uh, where we're going to go. Our coach, Seanick, will tell us, uh, oh, okay, let's go uh, southeast level four. So then um, just because of this visual format, instead of like a four by four button board, I can easily see, I can point out, okay, this is southeast. Okay, level four. Okay, we're good to go. And then uh, Nate just has to hit his um, drive to pose button. Uh, and then uh, our scoring button, which is also uh, all derived from this uh, app over here. All right, well, that's all from 2590 Nemesis, one of the perennial powerhouses here in FMA. Uh, check out this content and more like it on Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. First teams benefit when they optimize their robots utilizing Altair tools. If you're utilizing Altair, submit a video showing your optimization skills and potentially win up to $5,000 for your team or $2,000 for yourself each quarter from now until June 30th, 2025. Download Altair tools for free and view contest details when you scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest.